Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you all doing? I hope you had a great week. I know for some of us, easier said than done. And I also hope that you are in good spirit today. I um, post on the channel earlier this morning that I woke up feeling a little bit better this morning. I don't know. I woke up with a lot of energy, which I haven't had for the past week or so. I also know that I have been missing in action for all the members. I know some of you understand. I try to send a few private messages to let you guys know what is going on. And um, for those of you who don't know, I do live in New York City and um, it has been crazy here. It has been really, really, really crazy, okay? And I also do have family members that are frontline workers. So you guys know how that is when you have your family out there trying to help everyone that is in need of help and you're, you know, um having the roller coaster of um wondering what is going on wondering if they're gonna you know be bringing anything home that you really don't want them to bring home however that is life and when people choose careers they they know what they're doing you choose most people choose a career because they like it in spite of the fact that sometimes we don't think about what comes with having certain careers so thumbs up and a big shout out to all the nurses all the doctors all the the first responders out there especially here in new york you guys are doing an amazing job an amazing job of you know controlling and keeping people alive and getting people to where they need to get to and also for the ambulance driver and all of those people out there in new york city a big um thank you to all of you but regardless of where you are living and if you are going through what we are going through i'm also sending out a big thank you also now guys you know i chose a topic today dark circles frown lines and there's a reason for choosing that topic i am sure that a lot of us are going to be ending up with dark circles and frown lines so what i'm going to do today i'm just going to talk about dark circles frowns frown lines you know what we can do you know to kind of ease it up it's a very very stressful time for a lot of people and this is what comes with stress when you are stressed you get dark circles you get frown lines and all kind of things start happening so i just choose that topic today not necessarily are we going to talk about you know dark circles and frown lines but feel free to comment and feel free to ask whatever question you want to ask and also feel free to ex press yourself now someone is saying it's buffering and um on my end it shouldn't be buffering but um because i'm on the high speed so my internet is supposed to be fine so re refresh your um refresh your your internet and if there's anyone else is everyone else okay or does everyone have some form of a buffering as i said i'm so I shouldn't be having any form of a buffering going on. But then you just never know when it comes on to the internet company. We need people that operate these things also. And definitely it could be that, you know, work, um, the workforce is not there to keep things going. Now, guys, a lot of you guys, sometimes when you click on my channel, you, um, you expect me to just go talk about... Um, facial 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 and i noticed that some people do click off of the live chat and sometimes i'm a little you know concerned like why would they click off the live chat but um for those of you who are always here i'm grateful that you are here and i'm grateful for your support now let's do some shout out and make this live chat uh half an hour or an hour off 
happiness, of liveliness, of feeling, you know, like, you know, life is going. We don't want to be like, you know, down, down, down. No, we are going to be like strong and we're going to just make ourselves happy and talk about good things. All right. So let's do some shout outs. We have our moderator. Hello, Lucy. Welcome to the chat. And you can see I'm here today. And we also have uh, Magdalene that was like first on the chat and she's a member. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And welcome to Jason Keisha, Inga K, and we also have um, Paulette, that's Paulette Langley, and we also have um, Makeup Forever, welcome, welcome, they are below, welcome, welcome, and we have some new people, I think, on the chat, like Greta, Greta, um, Bridgie Mohan, um, hello, how are you? Um, Trinidad in the house, welcome to all my Trinidadian subscribers. And we also have, um, this person is on the chat before and I always cannot um, pronounce, but it's um, A-Y-N-U-R, welcome to the chat. We also have um, A-K-P-E-N-E, -E, um, Apini, I think that's how it's pronounced. How I'm doing, I'm doing fine. We also have um, Prignog, P-I-R-N-O-G, welcome. And we all, and Margaret, um, is your, things still buffering. Jason, yeah, each night at 20 a.m. people applaud for them. And Jason, I know you are a frontline um, person also. I hope you're keeping safe and, um, you know, just getting the job done without, without you know, getting yourself um, in trouble right there. Okay, um, staff, nurse, doctor, it's so rewarding as a nurse a student. And um you're getting a little taste of what it's gonna be like jason like be prepared be prepared all right so we also have um ray um valley i am from california friends um fresno i think california welcome to the chat hello jill how are you and jill is a member of the channel and we also have another jill we have jill dustress and we have jill richards hello from minnesota how are you all doing out there in minnesota i hardly hear anything much on the news about minnesota but you know you um just hope all you guys are doing well sharon robinson happy sunday and rana r-a-n-n-a -N -N -A, um good afternoon now i also know guys if you are new to the chat this part of the live chat might be a little boring like oh she's going through all the names giving shout out but it's important to let people know that i appreciate them watching and this is something a lot of my subscribers look forward to and this is something i like doing i wish i could just call everyone name on the chat sometimes i know i can't but it's always good to give back and by letting people know that i could see them and i appreciate them La, um lime l-i-l-m-a-i -I, I hear you fine thank you so much t t t i g g happy sunday from um conroe texas and i've been to texas about two times what you stand that is all right guys so what do you guys want to talk about today i know we have a topic about dark circles and frown lines do we want to talk let's talk a little bit about frown lines um jill Rich, richard yeah we're on the shelter in place for the most part stay safe pretty lady okay all right great to hear um what's going on all right so guys today is a 12th day the 12th day that i'm at home inside i have not gone outside <laughs> 12 days and counting and um how am i feeling i um up and down up and down some days are good and some days are not good um i do have a backyard and uh, two days ago the sun was out there so i went out and i actually got a little sun so yeah life goes on and life goes on all right so frown line one of the main reasons for talking about frown lines today guys is the fact that some people are gonna be frowning a lot okay people are gonna be frowning a lot and when this is all like in i apex like in new york we are not yet at apex in case in case you guys don't know what apex is apex is when whatever you're doing there's always a line and the line can go over a hill and come all the way down right at the top of the hill that is where the apex is whatever you're doing it have a plateau and the plateau is when it's you know it's 
when it's hit the plateau, which is the top of the hill, it means that it's going to come back down and then everything is going to get normal. So we're not at apex as yet. Now, for the very first week, a lot of us are stuck at home and people are like, you know, you're in a good spirit. Some people are in a good spirit. Some people are not because some people don't know how they're going to pay their bills and all of that going on some people are now stuck with the children that they are not accustomed to being around however if you really sit and think about it and what is going on some people are losing loved ones and all of that what is going to happen is that people are going to be sad and with sadness comes this frown line it's like the the more you make your face up the more you think you get these deep have you ever like look at some old scientists and notice their frown lines very very deep that because they really think a lot and that's this is what is happening to a lot of people right now they are thinking and when you think a lot when you stress a lot you create that deep frown line like I'm trying to make mine as deep as I can right now, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do to get rid of this deep, hello, Pauline, how are you? I got your message. I um, was to text you back, but I'm doing fine. I know you're concerned. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing fine. All right. So, and yes, and Relton is doing fine also. So, um, yes, what you're going to do, you're going to take your finger and you're going to just massage it. That is the easiest way to get rid of the frown line and to keep your face looking young and fresh. Now, some people are out there struggling. People are out there with all kinds of things going on and you're sitting here talking about frown line. Yes, we're talking about frown lines because what else is there to do? You cannot sit and um get all soaked up in this thing. I did... um last week and it wasn't pleasant at all you guys see me missing in action and all of that so you gotta find a way to find a happy place in spite of everything that is going on and what you're gonna do you are gonna take care of yourself if you're stuck at home and for those of you who are not stuck at home and is out and about put a smile on your face massage your frown lines so that you look fresh and amazing out there for you those of those nurses and doctors out there and all those frontline hello Pauline I hope you are doing well too this is what you do when you get home Pauline you just massage your face do something for yourself you spend all day doing things for everyone else do something for yourself just massage your face to get rid of that frown line and that frown line is gonna come because you're seeing things like you're seeing so many things that you probably don't want to see. All right, guys, I got to stop this. This is not going as planned. All right, so let's zoom up. Yes, guys, Pauline is my cousin and she's a frontliner also. And um, yeah, my family members are out there, guys. Sorry, guys. Um, All right. I'm getting out of this. I am sorry. I am sorry. Okay. Somebody say something. Um, what is going on with me today? All right, guys. We are moving on. We are moving on. All right. I am going to get through this. All right, let me read some comments. Susan, Alicia, um, how are you doing? I love watching your show. I am in Hartford, Connecticut, and I know we can't cross the line over there. Thank you, Karen, praying for you and your family members. Thank you so much. And uh, Pauline C., I'm being careful. Don't worry. You know, I worry a lot, a lot, a lot. All right. Lucy is okay. You are real and you have an art. Thank you for that. Lana Albert, you are at home. Continue to do what you do. We here in Jamaica are doing the best we can. And thank you for that comment. The Jones um, Family UK. I teach you. Nice to see you live. I'm a Jamaican living in the UK and I love your channel. I am just building a channel myself. Thanks for all your videos. And yes, I like to see my, you know, fellow Jamaicans reaching out and also trying to start their own channel. So you can also check out 
um the jones family from uk all right donna tommel um welcome hello donna how are you gina gina happy sunday to you and we also have um um grace praying for you thank you hello mahk um no you didn't miss anything and we also have um yvonne i love your show so much please keep on teaching us thank you so much jill um that jill duchess i've been stuck inside and using your steamer <laughs> i know somebody was gonna give me a love right so um this is real joke now guys this is real joke all right if you're here to talk about dark circles we will talk about dark circles and from lines now this is a real joke um did you know that there's um this thing going around the internet where and it's really um an effective method to use where you can actually use either the blow dryer or you can use a, a steam a pot of water cover your face with a towel so that all of that steam could go in your nose to prevent you from you know catching um you know what is going around i'm not even sure if youtube allow us to say the name unless you are the professional and your channel is all about those kind of things so i try not to say the name on the live chat so guess what if you have a steamer and you know how to maneuver that facial steamer for some of you guys who already received your facial steamer i think that is a good thing to use because i personally tried it this week so what i did i put my little steamer on and i sat in front of it and i do use a towel and i was letting all of that steam go out in in my nose so yes um you are actually doing a good thing with your steam. And for those of you who don't have a steamer, it's really worth the mucus and all of that in your, you know, your no nostril will really, you know, release when you do steam the face. Anyway, we are talking about dark circles. Let's Terenji, I use the pot of water every day and um a netty pot all week. So I'm not the only one trying to do the steaming. Um um jackie robbins is security guard dealing with truck drivers and contractors and oh my goodness jackie i know i know i know stay safe stay safe safe stay safe stay safe because transitioning from one yours yours is tough because everyone have to pass you like everyone that enter and leave have to pass you so try to steam in also all right guys uh hello juliana how are you all? how are you doing i am doing well and um i'm here all right guys i'm gonna talk about dark circles since i'm done with the frown line all right so what i was trying to say earlier is that a lot of us is gonna be having dark circles and dark circles do come with stress and a couple of weeks ago i was talking about a friend of mine who actually um was under the weather and she well she is you know have some issues woman issues going on that a lot of us women do have when we get to a certain age and all of that so she has some of those issues going on and she was so stressed and in a short space of time her under eyes was like so dark like unbelievable like you would not believe a person could just go from night to day or day to night just like that and i think what is going to happen a lot of us are going to be having these dark circles please know that is not only stress that causes dark circles you have a lot of other things that contribute to dark circles but we're just talking about stress and with everything that is going on so what i personally like like to do I like to treat the areas around my eyes and that's something you can do to relax yourself also if you have parsley and that is if you are like me that get your parsley and put it in the freezer that's what I did I went and I bought a whole bunch of parsley mint and um cilantro and I wash them and I freeze it and in case you guys don't know those um herbs are very very good when you freeze them when you're ready to use them you take them out and they basically be like fresh herbs no joke I always freeze my herbs when they're in abundance so 
making the parsley, just putting it in the blender with some green tea water, blend that up and strain it. And then you just dip some cotton pads in there and just place it over your eyes. And that's a way also to just ease the stress off your eyes. If you have eye bags and puffy eyes and also the dark circles, that is going to help tremendously. I use that. I swear by it. And I talk about it on the channel a lot because it do work. A one good oil that is good for dark circles that you can use as a standalone oil also is a rose hip oil. If you guys have the rose hip oil, all you need to do is to cleanse the area around your eyes and dab that rose hip oil on it. You can also mix the rose hip oil with a little bit of a coconut oil. And if you have oily skin and you don't want to feel it too greasy, then use some grapeseed oil with that rose hip oil and dab it under your eyes. Now, guys, you also need to massage the areas around your eyes. And I talk about this a lot, just using two fingers and just dabbing it like this. Just dabba, 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 dabba. That is going to help. And not only is that going to help with the dark circle, but it's going to help with circulation. And when it comes on to the crow's feet right here, when it comes on to all the wrinkles and fine lines right there, you definitely need to massage and apply an oil, an oil that contains a vitamin A like the rose hip oil. All right, let's move on. And we're going to talk more remedy. Um, papaya seed oil is amazing. Carrot seed oil is amazing to use around the eyes. And you can also choose to mix these oils together to make your own little oil that you're going to use to massage your under eyes so that you could, you know, prevent and also get rid of the dark uh, circle. Um, all right. So, um, Julia, my, you choose a good topics today. Um, it's creating a lot of stress and dark circles. All right. Yes. That's why the reason why I chose the dark uh, circles and please know the reason why I didn't mention the name because I'm not sure if the live chat, if we are allowed to say, it. um, Lucy, I grow mint and oregano to name a few. And I know you have a green thumb, Lucy. Hello, Rita. I haven't seen Rita for like a week or two. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Norma Wildman, um, thanks for the information and you're welcome. Yeni, Y-E-N-I, say I from Bali, Indonesia. And guess what, um, Yeni? I was supposed to be in Bali next month. <laughs> Next month, I was going to be in Bali, and that was that would have been my first time. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be coming to Bali. Probably this year is all out. So there goes my Bali trip. But hopefully, if everything goes well and we get over this and get out of this, I will be in Bali next year. Can't wait. Can't wait to go. And I'm going to have a vlog for you guys so I could have all these nice pictures. The main reason I personally want to go to Bali is because I want to go in that tub with all those rose petals. I'm not strange guys it's all in the name of the channel rose petal and all of that and just lay back and just soak up all of that goodness but hopefully next year hopefully i will be in bali all right all right so we are moving on um and any juice of dark circles yes any juice that have well, we're not, yeah, we could say juice, but you know what happened depending on where you live. When people hear the word juice, they always associate juice with something with sugar. If I'm wrong, just tell me. So, but yes, orange juice, don't let it get in your eyes. Lemon, um, grapefruit juice, all of those um, citrus fruit do a vitamin C and vitamin C will help to, clear the skin of spots and blemishes. Now, one of the main reasons why I do not use a lot of lemons and, you know, like oranges and stuff like that when I make things for the it, the eyes is that those things will burn your eyes and you really have to know how to use it. All right. A good way, however, to use the lemon is to dry the lemon and use the lemon, dry the lemon peel and use the lemon peel 
um, blend it to a powder and then you infuse it in, let's say, the rosehip oil or even basic oil like some olive oil, um, olive oil and then you can use it um, under your uh, under eyes. But the fresh lemon or the fresh lime is definitely could irritate your eyes. So kind of stay away from it. But definitely you can mix it with something else like, you know, the dry orange peel. You put it in the parsley mix and use it under your eyes. All right, so we are moving on. Another remedy that is good, and I think I saw someone mention it um, just now, is potato. I talk a lot about potato, and I know some people think that the potato is a gimmick, but it's really not a gimmick. It's, it's really get the job done, okay? Now, if you want to really prove if potato can get rid of spots and blemishes on your skin, an easy way to do that is just to peel a potato, chop it in a you know, few cubes, put it in a Ziploc or bag, put it in your refrigerator. Every day, take one cube out, rub it on anywhere on your body that you have a dark spot. And just remember to do it at least twice a day since you're trying to prove something. Guarantee you at the end of the first week you're going to notice some form of a lightning whatever that spot whether it's an old spot or a new spot okay so definitely the potato do work potato i like when it comes on to skincare and there's a lot of things that they made from that is made from potato that have nothing to do with skincare that we won't even talk about some of you might be shocked of you know the kind of medicine and stuff like that that they do use potato to make but Potato, guys, is good for tightening. The potato starch, that video that I made with the potato starch, it's like a no joke. It's really, really work. And the juice of the potato really helped to get rid of the spots and dark on the eye circles. The thing with the potato is that when it is exposed to here, it turned dark easily. And a lot of people think that is bad, like, oh, it turned dark so quick. But no, it is still good. A quick, uh, easy thing to do with that is just put it in your refrigerator right away or make it chill fast and then it's not going to get dark. Or you can use the same system citric acid like the lemon peel or the lemon zest that is dried when you're doing it for your under eyes when not then just squeeze some lemon or lime juice on it and then it's gonna you know keep it um looking clear which that have nothing to do with the effectiveness of the potato so you can juice some potato you can also mix the potato with the parsley and put it over your eyes now that is a rinse off okay anything that is liquid like the parsley leaf mixed with the potato and um the cilantro all of these herbs that we use for the uh, areas around the eyes those are rinse off what we use when we're gonna um sleep with it overnight is like the oils like the rose hip oil the coconut oil some people swear by the coconut oil i like to use coconut oil as a base okay and uh, for those of you with oily skin, I suggest that you use, let's say, the grapeseed oil or even the almond oil. Almond oil is another oil that is good for dark circles. Mix all together or use them individually. All right, so for those of you at home, tomorrow I'm going to have a video out on stretch marks, and you're going to see how I just made this amazing stretch mark oil. I do have a bit of a stretch marks not a lot nothing to talk about and i use this oil on it and they they fade like really fade however i don't have like this severe stretch mark like the pregnancy stretch mark but i did make a video earlier a couple of years ago with similar ingredient and a lot of people came back and was talking oh amazing this stretch um, mark oil was so I decided to put a little twist to it and make a second video on it which is going to be um, up tomorrow all right so we are moving on if you have an ingredient that you use for your dark circle feel free to comment now when it comes on to cucumber guys cucumber not necessarily get rid of dark circles what cucumber do is get rid of the wrinkles it smooth the eyes and it also will have to shrink the eye bags so that is the reason why I mix cucumber with the parsley. The main ingredient in the parsley, why it's so effective, is the vitamin K. And any herb that you can find out there that have vitamin K is great to use around your eyes. Just 
extract the juice, apply it. And you can also mix that juice with oil of choice. Oil and water don't mix, but I think if you have been watching, by now you know how to blend the two together. If you have, let's say you have some um, coconut oil and you want to add some parsley water to it, what you need to do is put it in the blender and you are gonna blend it. When you blend the oil and water, what is gonna happen is gonna come out fluffy like a cream and that's what you use under your eyes. All cream that you see out there on the market selling do contain water because it need the water to create that fluffiness to it, okay? So when you see all that creamy, all that, you know, that's because they use water in it. All right, but when you're using, making it natural, at home for yourself, no form of preservative, you definitely have to use it up within seven days. Maxine um, David, um, hello to Jam here in Jamaica, keeping quiet at home. Thank you. Um, keep up the good work. And thank you for all my Jamaicans watching. I hope you guys are, you know, um, staying safe and not panicking and get make sure you guys have some food at home. All right. So we are moving. Hello, Hesse. How are you doing? It's going to be difficult, difficult to get natural ingredient with all that is going on. And that is actually an amazing comment, Hesse. Not only that, one of the reasons why, like this week i was like you know now that people are home why you know to just come on and be like oh you know use this or use that to make these remedies like people are holding on to their food because they don't know what is going to happen and i do understand that it's just a teaspoon of this or a teaspoon of that but like for the fresh herbs and stuff like that because i use so much herbs and I do make videos I went and I bought and I freeze but not everyone is lucky enough to um to have like those things so what you guys need to do if you are low on you know oils and stuff like that it's just a fine alternative when you make let's say you're cooking um potatoes and you're peeling all you need is just a little two ounces of potato to make your cream or your serum or your treatment for your eyes and that is going to last for seven days as a matter of fact now is the time that we all need to improvise now is the time that we need to turn to natural remedies so that we could get results because as i said we don't know what is going on and when these things is going to end so look around your home and you know if you can spare a little this or a little that to take care of yourself do it the the best thing to do guys is to take care of yourself no joke if first time saying no joke um since i start someone comment and was saying like i need to make a t-shirt that said no joke i probably will now guys the best thing to do is to take a care of yourself when you're going through stressful time i can deal with stress no, I can deal with stress. I get emotional, but I can deal with stress. Like late on, I can deal with it. The problem with me is when the stress is over, then I might just lose it. Like I might just, you know, break down. Now, what I normally do, as I said last week, is to find my happy place when I'm going through a stressful time. Now, your happy place could be something apart from taking care of yourself. But you don't want when all of this is over, you walking around out there almost, I don't even know if I can use the word zombie looking. No, you want to feel like, you know, you were on a vacation somewhere. So you really have to use up the time to take care of you. Not everyone is, you know, locked down like we are here in New York. There's still people out there going around working and do, getting on with their everyday lives. So if that is where you are, definitely take care of yourself, get rid of the dark and the eye circles and do what you need to do for yourself. Titi, Chiche, I wish you and your family well. I hate to see you sad. Thank you Thanks to you, I do get rid of my blister on my face. I have sensitive skin. I use all of your recipe for my skin. And thank you so much for that comment. I um, I wouldn't say that I'm, yeah, I, I probably am, okay, I'm a toughie. And my family will tell you that I'm like a toughie. But when it comes on to family, like, okay, I can, 
um, be out there. I can move a mountain. When it comes on to business and all of these kind of thing, I'm like really, really tough. I'm going to get the job done. I'm going to do what I need to do to get the job done. But when it comes on to my family, that is where I am weak, like really, really, really weak. However, if something is wrong with any of my family member, I'm still going to be like the toughie. I'm going to do what I need to do and get whatever I need to get done. But at the end of that, I'm going to be like a vegetable. That That is just me. I love my family. I don't have a big family, very, very small family. And because of that, I'm very overprotective of my family so when my family when like i don't have okay so i'm gonna use the word controlling then i am a bit controlling like i controlling when it comes on to my family like don't talk bad about my family my yeah i'm like that but when you lose that control you feel helpless and that's how i feel like knowing that my family is out there, like dealing with all of this, you feel helpless because you can't control things anymore. And when you can't control things anymore, then like me, I'll, you know, just be bawling. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, anyway, guys, you know, every, as someone earlier said on the chat, we're all human. And yes, I come on and I make videos and I'm like, yeah, you know, do your face and all like that. But at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, I'm human and I'm just like, you know, a regular person like everyone out there are very sensitive to certain issues and all of that. OK, um, my anyway, let's not talk about what's going on here in New York. All right. So we are moving on. Miracle Doctor, I love your top and your face is glowing. Thank you so much for that. I guess it's the steamer. <laughs> The steamer is really helping not only my nose, but my um my face also. Gift Deborah, does it help clear pigmentation at the corner of your eyes? Yes, yes, yes. And Deborah, the um I have a eye cream. I, I think it's an eye cream made out of potato on my channel. If you go on the channel page, click on the face, go on channel page, click on videos and uh, no, click on playlist. And under that playlist, you're going to see um, all the videos for dark on the eye circles and eye bags. Search for that um, cream using the potato. I use it. I share it. And most people actually like that cream. I don't remember the name of the video title right now, but go on the playlist and you will see the video. All right, guys. So back to talking about dark circles. So what else out there is good for dark circles and how effective is these remedies? All right. Another ingredient that I personally like to use for dark circles is papaya. I use papaya all over my face for wrinkles and fine lines, but I also use the papaya for dark circles. Now, the way I use the papaya for dark circles is a rinse off. I would crush the papaya and I would tip a little bit of a yogurt in it and just dab it under the eyes, dab it under the eyes and leave it there. What this does is help with the dark circles, but it also helps with the puffy eyes and most um, important, it helps with the wrinkles and fine lines. If you have somewhere to go and you want something like really quick, as a matter of fact, normally when I make this, I use it all over my face because it's quick. And I know most of you might not have papaya at this at this time, but papaya is amazing overall for spots and blemishes. Another amazing oil, guys, is avocado oil. Avocado oil is good for your entire body, okay? If you buy your store-bought facial cream or serum, you could drop two drops of that avocado oil. Just make sure when you buy avocado oil, it is 100% pure avocado oil. Avocado oil contains all of the essential antioxidant that you need for your skin, such as vitamin A or vitamin C. It also contains a bit of a, a vitamin D and also a bit of a vitamin K. If you don't, you could also research it. 
for yourself. So that is the reason why avocado is amazing. And that is the reason why you're seeing so many people now turn into avocado oil. Avocado oil or the fresh avocado is good. If you use a fresh avocado, it's going to be a rinse off. You're going to apply it to your skin, leave it on for 30 minutes, rinse off. If you use the avocado oil, you can leave it on overnight. So mix some avocado oil with that rosehip oil and use it for your dark circle. So quick remedy, blend some parsley with some potato, squeeze that juice, put it in your refrigerator and use some cotton pads in it. Place that over your eyes for about 30 minutes. When you rinse that off, then you take your avocado oil mixed with your rosehip or whatever oil you have, any of the oils that is good, whether rosehip, avocado, grapeseed, coconut oil, mix, blend, any two or any three oils together and use it under your dark circles. Now the oils that I've just mentioned, all of these oils are also good for wrinkles. So you can use any of this combination to get rid of the frown line, to massage it in the frown line. I personally like massaging the skin because I see amazing results. Regardless of what you're gonna use, you're gonna get amazing results. But when you add the massage to it or the facial exercises, it actually works better. And we're talking about dark circles. So some of you might be wondering how, I feel like I'm all over the place today. Am I all over the place? I might be all over the place. So anyway, the way you massage your under eyes is the dabbing like I showed earlier for those of you who are just coming. So you can wake your under eyes up and actually um, boost the circulation by just dabbing it on. And this is how you can apply your facial serum or your facial moisturizer for your under eyes. Just dab it on, dab it on, dab it on, and you will be good. I feel like I need to go take some questions right now. Let's see. And comment, guys. If you're watching, well, we have about 81 people still watching. Feel free to comment, ask questions. Put your two cent in what is it that you want me to talk about when it comes on to dark circles terenji you sound like me i have a small family i'm like um wonder woman but i'm very protective with my family i'm pisces pisces are a lot alike oh i'm pisces too so well i guess you know teren all right so keisha thumbs up all right guys um jackie um we are still glowing all right um rita stay safe i think Rita probably hello sharon henry how are you happy sunday to you and um all right so the website all right so this um lucy is posting something uh um maybe a, the the cream for the dark circle maxine i'm here in okay all right guys so if you're watching and you're not commenting comment 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 comments are good help me get you the next 10 minutes that we're gonna be doing um it's a little warmer here today in new york city which is actually good we're waiting for the warm weather and lucy many people get stretch marks from weight gain and loss yes 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 so that's why we're having a stretch mark remedy coming up tomorrow all right guys so we are back to talking about dark circles and it's like i don't have all the facts together today but it's gonna come you guys know i normally just come on and i just talk like today is like i'm getting a brain freeze and you can tell but I'm gonna snap out of it. That's another thing I like to do, guys. I like to sing, you know that? I'm gonna snap out, but you know, we can't sing other people's song on the channel. So I'm just making something up right now. I'm gonna snap out of it. You know, I'm menopausal too, guys. So maybe that's why I'm just like, you know, all teary. You never know. It's a combination of everything. Susan, um, I love how you explain and you're always and you always love so look so always love so beautiful love from Sudan Susan in Sweden and thank you for your comment all right so little mate take your time yes I am and we also have um um Lucy yes all her dark circles the one with the potato okay yes so that is the link to the playlist that Lucy just posted with all the dark circles remedy and we have some really amazing ones guys guys 
some of you are new and you really don't know how to monitor the the page like sometimes you ask some question like you ask for a remedy like what is your best dark circle remedy i talk about parsley but sometimes you could go on the channel page and you could tell some of the awesome remedies even by the amount of views those videos get and also from the comments. So learn to use the channel page by always clicking on my face anywhere at the bottom. Also at the end of each video, you have some links that's gonna take you to the channel page. When you get on the channel page, a good place to find videos that you're looking for is playlist. Cause playlists all have a title and on the title, like for dark circle, it's gonna say dark circle. When you open that playlist, you're gonna find a whole set of videos on under it with just dark circles. You can also find like my homemade serums and my homemade moisturizer under the playlist, a wide variety. You can find special facial mask. Let's say you're looking to tighten and firm your skin. You're gonna have a playlist and you click on that and you're gonna see all the videos that are geared towards tightening and firming the skin. If you're looking for evil, growing your eyebrows, you're gonna find videos there. If you're looking for, um, white homemade remedy to whiten your teeth you're gonna find those on um on the channel page so we have a wide variety of uh, videos there guys so learn to use the, the channel page and search for what you want they're all there watch them share them that's how you support the channel when you share the videos you support the channel and you know put them on your social media do a clip in paste it anywhere and you know just showing some love to the channel. So, all right, we are gonna talk about rice. Um, I use a lot of rice on the channel because the rice really work. But do we use rice for dark on the eye circles? Yes, you can use rice for dark on the eye circles, but you gotta make it like into a cream or a serum. And some of those I also have on the channel page. Now, the way you use rice, guys, I talk a lot about purple rice of late. And if you have purple rice, or if you can get your hands on some black rice, I know a lot of you don't have it. And that is why I always, you know, substitute, use the white right rice if that's what you have. But if you can get your hands on some purple rice or some black rice, that is like, research it when you're done what is going on out there in the skincare world with purple rice and black rice they're making serums um dark circle serums from the purple rice extract they're making serums dark circle serum from the black rice extract so if you have rice the reason for black rice and purple rice is because they do contain more vitamin a than the white rice and not only that the, because of I, I, each time i get a little brain freeze with what gave it the color but anyway they're finding that it have more antioxidant than the white rice not that the white rice is not good but the black rice and the purple rice have more antioxidant that is geared toward boosting collagen production in the skin tightening and firming the skin you know, smoothing wrinkles and fine lines. So if you can get your hands on the purple rice, what you do, you make it the way I do it, purple or black rice. If you don't have any of those color rice, just use the white rice. The easy way that I make the rice cream, if you see in my videos, I blend the rice to a powder. And once it is blend, if you have rice powder, you can use it too. Blend it to a powder. After you blend it, you pour some hot water on it, mix it, and then you blend it again. Now, do not put the rice in the blender and then pour the hot water on it. It's not gonna come out creamy. What you're gonna get is just something more like a dough and you don't want that. So blend it first to a powder, pour some hot water on it, blend it again, and then you're gonna get this nice creamy, you know, rice cream. And what you're gonna do with that rice cream, you're gonna put a little bit of your favorite oil, like say the rose hip oil that is good for a dog on the eye circles. You can even choose to put a little of the parsley juice in that, blend it up and use it under your eyes. 
this is a rinse off okay this is a rinse off if you use like potato juice in it or parsley juice in it you gotta rinse that off if you want it to stay overnight just use only oil another oil that is good for dark circles is sesame seed oil and i don't i i use a lot of sesame seed oil for myself but a lot of you are not aware how effective the sesame seed oil is perfect for wrinkles and fine lines perfect for smoothing the skin however guys be mindful that is not the roasted sesame seed oil it's the one that is on roasted and you can get that in um let me not say any grocery store and depending on where you live you might be able to get the unroasted sesame seed oil however i always said don't use the roasted sesame seed just because you know you're gonna have that strong um smell and you lose some of the properties when the sesame seed is roasted so if you can get your hands on unroasted that is good so you just mix it up and just use it under your eyes leave it on rinse it off in the morning you're good to go for those of you who are a little stressed that is a good oil mix the sesame seed with that blended rice and use it leave it on overnight mm, amazing 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 and you know i put the parsley in everything hello auntie how are you alice day that is um happy sunday take care of yourself and be blessed and i am trying to i miss you guys and anyway we have maxine um sorry facial hair um I, please talk about ear next time okay definitely we will talk about that all right so we also have little me you did just already it just does not show up on your side i can't see your highlight on my end but yeah i see it's highlight when you are talking to okay so all right so i don't okay so i guess you're talking about the link that lucy is putting on all right guys so it's 10 more minutes to go and i feel like do I should I wrap up since nobody's asking any questions? I don't want to be a Debbie donor. All right, I'm gonna take questions now, guys. So go ahead and ask if you're watching and you have not come in, show your support to the channel by commenting. So comment, 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 and also show your support by asking a few questions to keep the chat going. Help me out today. You know, I normally like to talk like woo talking, but today is like I'm not talking, like I just you know, it's just not coming. So help me out. Out, ask some question and get me going i definitely will answer your question any question on dark circles i'll answer it right now okay so we have laurel lynch deep mouth line love you chichi i make your recipe um for all okay so the deep mouth line um clay guys i totally forget i was going to talk about clay today clay any form of a clay mask or mud mask is going to help with deep mouth wrinkles it's also going to help with the hopper mouth wrinkles right here and also for those of you with um that frown and lines on your forehead any form of a clay mask will do a good a very cheap um clay mask um clay is the fullest earth okay if you can get fullest earth fine also if you can get fullest earth and you go to the um pharmacy like on the bottom shelf they always have those mud masks clay masks those are very very good you could take that home you could make it your own because you could add other stuff to it like a little aloe vera gel or you know just mix your own natural stuff to the clay and make it your own and use it on the laugh line so you're gonna pack it on in a little paste and you're gonna let these masks dry on the skin anytime you're looking to tighten and firm the skin use a mask that's going to dry on the skin that's going to help to tighten it and you need to feel that sensation going when you use these a clay mask so use up your green clay use up your green mud use up your pink clay all of those masks um clay mask is good for deep mouth wrinkles like deep laugh line frown lines when you rinse them off pat dry and apply your favorite wrinkle fighting serum or oils and massage it on it so when you're applying your oils as i was showing on the top of the hour you just you know do a few facial massages and that is going to help tremendously with the deep mouth wrinkles all right so we have um i am um, laurie i have dark spot and cheeks from 
um, scarring, what can I use? And I would suggest that you use anything with um, vitamin C. Any cream you're going to get out there with vitamin C is good. We talked about the potato a while ago. You know something that is really, really good for spots and blemishes that a lot of people kind of overlook is banana peel. And I proved that for myself. And that is why when I make uh, my facial mask using banana i actually scrape that part of the peel and put it in the mix with it because it's helped a lot turmeric also help to clear dark spots and blemishes on the skin it's just that the turmeric stain a good way for your turmeric not to stain when you're looking to clear spots and blemishes is to mix it with other ingredients like a little banana and a little avocado you can also mix that uh, potato juice with a little bit of the turmeric powder that is a very very effective one to clear just rub it on that area where you have that scar just rub it on preferably twice a, no just you know nighttime preferably if you you know want to use a pillowcase or whatever if you don't go out you use it but find a way to use it and it's going to blend out anyway but i still think that if you use a white pillowcase it will make a mess so find the time that is good if not you use it in the daytime when you have time and you'd walk around with it for about an hour or two and then you rinse it off but it would work best if you put it on at night and sleep with it and wake up with it in the morning rinse off and you're on your way to getting rid of that scar america data what is a good remedy for eczema a good remedy is sulfur and if you want something natural it's not going to smell real good you're not going to like this one but um onions is good okay and garlic <laughs> i know i know i know i know it contains sulfur but a good thing you could actually make and i think i have a few um recipes and a few videos on the channel for eczema what you could use to offset it is a little bit of essential oil your favorite essential oil and that is going to kind of cut down on the smell of the onion if not get yourself some sulfur all right so ma we love you chichi could you talk about skin tag on the face please um yes and i think i did a video a couple of weeks and i was or maybe i yes a couple of weeks away i actually was talking about skin tags and how when you get to a certain age you're gonna start to see these little tags just popping up all over on your face out of nowhere apple cider vinegar is good when you mix it with that same banana peel that i was talking about i do know that a lot of people think that oh banana peel but that is actually a very very effective remedy for getting rid of the skin tags whether you are flat or onion i do know that if you have a big onion tag like you know somewhere on your body that is going to take time for it to dry out but those little skin tags popping up on your face that is going to work wonders the apple cider vinegar mixed with some banana peel on the inside and the riper the better it is for it to be effective um a k p e n e a k p e n e i did that in a week and it was very good please try it all right so i don't um i didn't see the um the first comment but um hopefully it's is the skin tag that we're talking about um so margaret removal of stubborn pigmentation on the face and that's the remedy that i just gave with the the potato and you can use the potato juice and mix it with any form of a citrus fruit also like the lemon and the orange all of those can help to get rid of the dark pigmentation on the skin and we have a lot of remedies on the chat on the channel page for dark circles pigmentation in your face your neck you name it we have a lot of those and what you need to know to do to find out if you think a remedy is good watch the views if let's say it get like a million views on it watch it and read the comments because some people are going to come straight out and say oh i tried this and it really works so that's a good way to find out if a remedy works okay all right so um um a peanut okay so i think i read that jill richard does the skin tag remedy help with getting rid of molds as well that yes and if i put on the on the the chat molds molds and skin tags are two different things and most people know that but however for some reason the same remedy work 
um, when it comes on to mold, because I have certain knowledge about mold, um, I always say it depends, like, you know, I don't want to get too technical. But, yeah, if you you have your body, you know your mold. Like, you have just this mold, like, for 10 years ago, blah, blah, blah. But if, like, all of a sudden you see mold and blah, 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 then I don't recommend anything for mold. I would say consult your doctor. But most of the time what works for skin tag, if it's just a regular mold, it will work for the mold also. All right. So, um. We are Merlin Fernandez, stay safe, Chichi, and everyone out there. And thank you so much for that. Greta, um, what is good for spider vein? The 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 um the video I'm gonna post tomorrow is gonna be on stretch marks and it's also good for spider vein, which is the same thing as the uh well, it's not the same, but it's in the same family as the varicose vein. If you go on my channel and you put varicose vein, a video is gonna come up and that video I think I'm not sure, but it's have probably about two, three million views. It's like an old video of mine, but the remedy is a very, very, very effective. You would not believe how many people, you know, comment and send email about that. So when you're done, just click on my face, put in on the videos, varicose veins, and you're going to see the one with the most views. You have several without uh, millions of views, but the one that's going to come up on the top, that remedy is really good. I don't remember exactly all the ingredients that is in it right now, but just go look at it and, and, and give it a go. I also have another video for strawberry um, legs. That video recipe is also good for spider veins. All right, so guys, my time is up and um, trying to see who else. Um, is out there. Does the skin okay? Yes, I read that. I um Chichi, I have I have um love rosehip oil so much. All right, so yeah, the rosehip oil is like one of my favorite guys. I'm gonna be posting. Let's see. I'm gonna be posting. Oh, let's see if I could get it. Oh, all right. I'm gonna be posting a video this week. And I found a new oil. Actually, they found me and they sent me these oils. And I've been trying them. And I'm telling you guys, it's really, really good. So this oil is the um, Kursaradi oil. And what I like about this oil is it's an all natural, 100% pure oil. And this oil contains like 16 herbs so they take all these 16 herbs and they extract the oils and they make this oil uh, anyway i'm gonna make the video um this week i've been using this now for about three weeks or so but you know they send this oil to me and i gotta try it they've been like rushing me with it but i want to make sure that it really work and it's really smell good it also contain turmeric <laughs> it's Anyway, I'm going to look out for the video, guys. Look out for the video. And I'm trying to get a, a discount code on the oil. So that's when I post it, you guys will be able to get it for um, cheaper. But it's a new oil. And just imagine 16 herbs. Like, amazing. It's really, really good. And I'm going to share it sometime this week, hopefully. Hopefully. All right. Yes, yeah, 16 herbs. Can you imagine? So the dark circle is also, it's like... It's, it's really, really, really um, an amazing combination of ingredients. But we'll talk about it in the week coming up. Anyway, guys, my time is up. I am going to be getting off, calling up some family members. I am um, and doing some chit-chatting for the rest of the evening, making sure everyone is okay. I had a conversation with, I have some friends that live in Italy also, like really, really close friends. So, you know, I'm doing the round, like making sure I check on them every day because they are really going through a lot, like, you know, a lot. So anyway, guys, I love you guys. Stay safe. I hope, ne well, next week I'll come back more prepared, more like, you know, myself, not like a Debbie donor coming on with all these emotional things going all over the place. I'll be better next week. Oh, one thing I totally forget. There are so many of you guys that have been sending me emails. How could I forget that? Like my email box is like flooded with my subscribers all knowing that I live in New York, wanting to know 
how I'm doing. I so, maybe that's why I got so emotional today. Like I so appreciate you guys checking in. And for some of you that don't get any response, I read and read and read and read, know that I'm reading. I just have a lot and that's why I don't reply to, 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 to some of them, but I do appreciate you guys checking in. And that is why I know doing this is so rewarding because outside of this, so many of you still like keep in touch and, you know, sending your little, you know, keep safe and all of that. And I do really and truly appreciate you all. Have a great week, guys. Stay safe and uh, do some facial if you can. You know, don't, you know, let things get you down. Get rid of the dark circles. Don't stress too much. You know, massage your laugh line. Do some facial mask and stuff like that. And I'm bringing some simple ones that you can actually try this week. All right. So hopefully I'll come back midweek. I, you know, been missing, but I'm going to try to come back midweek and have a live chat, upbeat chat with you guys. So stay tuned for that. Maybe around about Wednesday. And it's going to be nighttime if I do have a live chat, like about seven o'clock Wednesday night. So now that I say it, you guys could hold me to it. I love you guys. Be safe and take care of yourself. And I'll see you soon. Watch the video you mi missed this morning. It's kind of a rerun video, but um, it's still good to watch. But this week we're coming out with new things. Have a great week, guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.